I wish they could notice not only here, but also here. Oh, so frustrated. Can't find any jeans to fit me. They fit my buttocks and it's always a gap at my waist. And then it fits my waist, it's too small on my buttocks. Everything has to go to a tailor. I don't get it. You're complaining your waist is too small? Can I borrow that? That's right, if you are in our class, that means you have the most luscious curves that can make all your girlfriends envious. But that's exactly what can make it harder for you sometimes because your body goes in and out so much. If you're in our class, your shoulders and your hips are about the same width. That's a major difference between the hourglass shape and the pear shape. You have a much smaller waist compared with your hips. A typical hourglass also has full bust and full hips. That doesn't mean your waist has to be 24 inches. It only means compared with your hips, it's at least 25% smaller than your hips. So you could totally be a curvy girl. You could be a plus size hourglass. The hourglass shape is a rounded shape. That means even if you are a skinny hourglass, you still come across as flashy instead of bony. By the way, sometimes you look heavier than you actually are. We'll talk about that later. A lot of the hourglass shape tend to have a shorter waist and a longer rise. This is especially common among petite hourglass. You have a shorter frame to work with. And that shorter torso of yours need to accommodate all that in and out of your curves. When you have a longer rise, that typically means your legs look shorter and you look shorter than you actually are. Hi there, my hourglass beauty. If this sounds like so you, give me a thumbs up. If this doesn't exactly describe you, leave me a comment below, let me know. If you're new here, I would love to have you come back. Hit that subscribe button. Casual clothes, t-shirts, sweaters, cardigans, anything that is loosely fitted is especially harder for our glass compared with dresses, blouses, skirts, those Define your shape, that is your strong suit. But casual clothes, they tend to make you look bulkier, they make you look heavier than you are. Jeans, very hard. Most of the jeans, they either look too loose on your waist or too tight on your buttocks. If you are an hourglass shape with full chest, you may also have thicker upper arms. Women's breasts and upper arms go hand in hand. Unless you always work out and keep them tight and toned, a lot of times you might consider styles to cover up your upper arms. If you're an hourglass with full chest, high neckline is a no for you, like the polo neck. By the way, I'm not really an hourglass, I am a skinny apple. So, in order to look like what it looks like on you, guess how many towels they had to stuff under there. This might sound counterintuitive because when the hourglass doesn't want people to notice her chest, she wants to cover it up. But it's the opposite. Anytime when you wear a high neckline, like this one, this is a crew neck, all it does is to draw all the attention to your chest. So, don't even start with higher necklines such as a turtleneck. They're gonna make your chest look like balloons and that's all people are gonna notice on you. The better necklines are the lower necklines. Deep v-neck, don't shy away from it. Because on the surface you might think this is exposing a lot of your chest. But what it does is it dissects your chest. It cuts it in half and that's exactly why it can balance out your chest. Eunuch is really a good choice for you as well. Anytime you create space in the front, it elongates your neck, it elongates your torso as well. That's why it balances out your curves. Sweetheart neckline looks great on the hourglass as well. 
because it holds it all in. It has a corset kind of effect. Flatters your curves, but not going overboard. Loosely fitted shirt? Mm -mm. That is a no if you are an hourglass. I know a lot of times you don't want your curves to be always the focus of your outfit. You go with relaxed fit shirt, something like this. On anybody else, this shirt looks like a shapeless shirt. On you, not only it's shapeless, it can also make you look pregnant. What happens is, this is especially true if you happen to have full chest. Your chest makes your shirt kind of look like a tent hanging down from your girls. Mm -mm. These are not real, by the way. I am a B cup, like three different bras on top of each other. Just to show you, if you have a big chest, how it's gonna look like on you. So for the hourglass, your casual style needs to be smart casual. You need to wear something that is faded. Faded doesn't mean that it has to be tight. It just means it defines your waist and it is not too bulky or too shapeless. Anything that cinches your waist is able to control that volume in the top. Wrap sweater, full wrap sweater, a wrap top, anything wrap is a pretty good style on you because they flatter your curves. It goes with the shape of your body. If you are a petite hourglass, very likely that you have a shorter waist and longer rise. It's also possible you're not petite, but you also have this body shape. If that is you, that means there's very limited space between your bust and your waist. So you want to stay clear of anything cuts into that space even more, such as wide belts. It's very important for the hourglass shape to define her waist because that is one of your biggest assets. But you don't want a wide belt to make your torso, make your short waist look even shorter. A better way for you to define your waist is to go with a narrower belt or no belt at all, just tuck it in. I do have another video on this topic, how you can tuck in your shirt three different ways. Make sure you watch this video as well and see which one fits you better. If you're wearing skirts or dresses, the best way to define your waist is to just go with an A-line silhouette. This is the most universally flattering for any body type. For you, the hourglass, it flatters the curves of your upper body, shows up your assets, your full chest, your small waist, and then when it flares out at the bottom, so it totally balances out your shape. Even though I'm not hourglass, I do have shorter waist and longer rise. How do you know if you have longer rise? Typically, that means you only feel comfortable when you wear high-waisted jeans, high-waisted pants. If I wear mid-waisted jeans or pants, it's just not as comfortable. And even though I'm petite, a lot of times I can pretty much wear regular size pants because the rise fits me better. Whereas petite pants, they're adjusted, they make it shorter in the rise, and that doesn't fit me as well compared with regular size pants, provided I do need to make regular size pants shorter. If you do have a longer rise as well, it tends to make you look shorter than you actually are. In that case, you look better with skirts and dresses versus pants and jeans. Because when you wear skirts, no one can tell where your legs start. I do have another video how you can elongate your legs and look effortlessly taller, even without heels. So make sure you watch this video as well. Do not go with anything that has too many girly details. Those ruffles and all of those, they are meant to make someone look more feminine and more girly, but you already have that. You especially want to avoid any ruffles right at your chest. What they do is they are going to add more volume. You already have full bust. So you don't want anything to make this area look more busy and add more bulkiness to your upper body. Anything double-breasted, blazers, jackets, coats, they're not the best for the hourglass because two reasons. One, they expand you. 
horizontally, and that's what you don't want. You already have a very fleshy body. You tend to come across as heavier than you actually are. So you want to avoid anything that expands you horizontally. And secondly, also very important, because you have full chest and you tend to have fleshy arms, it's kind of restrictive when you wear something that is double-breasted. So instead, go with a single-breasted blazers or jackets that has a defined waist that is well tailored. Those shapes are gonna make you look much better compared with the double-breasted one because it flatters your curves and also has that structure to hold it all in for you. Pointed toe shoe is my personal favorite. If you're petite, or if you're any height but you want your legs to look longer, go with pointed toe shoes. The only caveat, when you are an hourglass and if you happen to have thicker legs and ankles, that's when the pointed toe doesn't look that in harmony with your shape. Instead, go with rounded toe because that reflects your shape better than the pointy toe. Peep toe always look very nice on the hourglass because it balances out your curvy body. The hourglass is a flashy body type. A lot of times you come across as heavier than you are if you want to look more slender without having to lose any weight. Watch this video. The 10 surprising tricks that you can use right now to look more slimmer. All you need to do is to use these tricks to trick the eyes into believing you are more slender.